Hi everyone, I'm here with my week eight update on my 100 day project. So as you can see from my little cards here, week eight included day 50. So that's officially halfway through my 100 day project. And I'm happy to report that I've been successful. I've done 50 straight days of crafting, doing a little bit of crafting every day, um, various projects, and I'm really happy with how it's been going. In addition to doing 50 straight days of crafting, actually I'm up to 56 days of crafting today, but we'll focus on 50 for the halfway update. I also created a YouTube short every single day um, just trying to document my crafting and I, that's actually been a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It's kind of cool to grab the video and pick out a song for the day and it's just a fun little way for me to show what I'm doing and to get a little more content out onto my channel. So I hope you're enjoying them as much as I'm enjoying making them. So I thought as part of my halfway update I'd go through all the different projects I've completed so far. So according to my document, I've been trying to track the projects I've completed. I've completed 15 different projects, some smaller, some larger. So this includes nine of these mini masterpiece cross stitches. So I've done, you know, nine of these paintings. I've got more to do and I've done more in the past. Eventually I think I'm going to make some video content about these, but I just really enjoy these small little projects because they feel like you're getting a lot done without a lot of effort. And I just think they look so cool with all these little paintings together. And speaking of paintings, I've completed two. So one of those is a paint by number, which is a kit I got at Michael's. And then I also did one painting with a twist class where I painted this Texas wildflowers painting. I've also completed one craft kit which are these felt succulents. Um, so this was a kit where I wrapped up strips of felt that were cut into petals and then kind of colored them succulent colors and then shaped them into these cute little plants. So I'm planning to still kind of pot these in a piece of pottery I bought. I haven't gotten around to that yet, but I do have this kit completed. And then I also created three Easter crafts. So one was these felt bunny ornaments. And then I also made an Easter egg garland as well as a crocheted and beaded garland for my Easter tree, which is in my office. And I've got some videos of those posted already and I'll link those below. In addition to all of my physical craft projects, I've done a lot of work recording videos and editing and posting those videos for my YouTube channel, which I count as creative output as part of this project. I don't have all of those posted yet. I still have some editing to do, but be on the lookout for those. So now that we've gone over my halfway update, let's talk about week eight itself. So this week has gone well. I've gotten some creative space cleared out in my craft room. I'm doing a little bit more cleaning every day, just trying to get things out of here. I've got my work table cleared off. So I've actually been able to sit down here and do some projects. And also having this space cleared out makes me want to work on projects more. So that's really kind of a motivation to get more space cleared out in this room. So let's look at the projects I've been working on this week. First, I've started a new paint by number kit. So this is a kit by a company called Paint Anywhere. They have these really cool, bright colored, um, more modern looking paintings. So this is kind of what made me want to do paint by numbers in the first place when I saw these kits. So I started on one of those this week. And as you can see, I've gotten a little bit of it done yet, but not a ton of progress quite yet. I'm also still working on my crochet garland. So I talked a little bit about this last week. This is a Valentine's Day project that I didn't finish in time for Valentine's Day but I've gotten my pink row done and I've moved on to the red row and I'm trying to shape it into this spiral as I crochet, which it is a spiral crochet pattern. And so I'm getting quite a nice spiral here and I like the way this red and pink looks together. So I think when this is done, this is actually gonna look really nice. And then the last project I worked on this week was another of these mini masterpiece paintings. So I'm working on is um, it's a Renoir painting and it's called Two Girls Reading. You can kind of see the girls here. There's like one here. She's got a hat on and there's another here. Um, I'm making some progress on that. I still have a little way to go. This one has a lot of colors. So it's a lot of 
switching out threads pretty often. So it's going a little slower, but I think it's coming along really nicely. So for my challenges this week, I didn't feel as challenged this week, which was nice seeing as how I feel that the past few weeks I've felt, I don't know, just kind of like the crafting project was kind of a burden. Like I didn't necessarily want to sit down and do a bunch of crafting every day. However, this week I enjoyed sitting down every day and getting some stuff done. And I didn't feel as much of a struggle to get things done. I guess if I had to identify a challenge, it was maybe getting used to this paint by number kit. It's more advanced than the last one I did. So I'm getting used to painting smaller spaces. I also am not as pleased with the materials that came with this kit as I was with my previous one. I feel like the brushes aren't as high quality and the paints are a little sheer. So I'm just having to use a little bit different technique for this one. And I'm actually using a different set of brushes than what came with the kit, but it's going well overall. And maybe the crochet project is a little bit of a slog just cause it's the same stitch over and over. It's kind of boring, but it's easy to do on the go. In fact, I threw it all in a tote bag this weekend and took it with me to one of my husband's uh, gigs. He was playing this weekend at a pizza place out of town. And so I took this project with me and while I stood in the long pizza line, I just crocheted with the bag over my shoulder since I was doing this long garland. It was really easy to just pick out a little bit at a time. So I'm sure I looked really cool doing this project, but I didn't mind. It was easy to do it on the go and you know, I don't craft to look cool. I craft to have fun. So I think that worked out really well. So next week I might have a few events in the evenings that are gonna make it challenging for me to get my crafting done. So I'm trying to plan around that. Um, I might bring my crochet with me just because that's so easy to do on the go. I'll probably be doing more of this painting and my crochet project probably at least finish up that cross stitch I showed you, maybe start another, and who knows, maybe I'll start another new project. I've got a lot of kits I'd like to work on. I just don't wanna have too many things going at once. So we'll see if I get started on one of those. I'd like to, but I feel like the more things I have going, the less I'm gonna focus on any of them and nothing's ever gonna get done. So that's all for my week eight update, as well as my halfway update. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me through this 100 day project so far and we've got halfway to go. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.